all right guys welcome back to a brand new video in this video i'm going to show you guys how you can set up your apple.txt for unity ads and how you can get verified immediately without any issue so if you are using blogspot uh, apple.txt you know blogspot apple.txt to do work for admob and it works for facebook audience network as well as startup ads but it do it doesn't it doesn't work for unity ads so you have to take note of that what is apple.txt apple.txt is your own unique seller profile your seller profile on all ad platforms initiated by the iab tech lab so if you are monetize, if you monetize your stuff with Unity Ads, Facebook Audience Network, AdMob app, you have to set up what to call Apple.txt. You have to set up a site for it. I've already made a video on how to set up a general Apple.txt using Blogspot URL. Yani Blogspot site. For example, my own. If you search for uh, tekalifa.blogspot.com, tekalifa.blogspot.com slash ad.txt, ads.txt, something like this. Because this is that of a uh, blog spot site, just add this, you know, crawling to it, txt, something like this. If you do it, you can just search for it. Tekalifa.blogspot.com slash appa.txt. It will take you to, the, to my appa.txt page. So you can see. So here is the appa.txt for AdMob and the appa.txt for Startup.io as well as appa.txt for Unity Ads. But Unity Ads recently, you know, they, they do not approve what to call appa.txt on blogger site again. So here is the one of Unity Ads down here. So I won't be able to, to use my uh, my um, blog spot site for for like verification of Apple text on Unity ads. So I need to what I need to change it. So um yeah, so there's no issue. Let's just get started. Go to dashboard dashboard.unity3d.com dashboard.unity3d.com for those guys who are using Unity ads to monetize the app. So um, I'm gonna make a video, a full video on how to like do a lot of things on Unity ads for you to set up your game and everything. So now is loading it to take me to my dashboard on Unity Ads now. I need to first sign in for, and for me to log in to get started. So now, once you set up Apple Text, you, know, you won't have that recent issue. You know, for people who are using like uh, blogger sites, you know, they'll have issue on Unity Ads and Unity Ads alone. So what's going to happen is that we need to set up our app ad.txt. How can we get started with this? Since we are currently in the dashboard for Unity Ads, I've already signed in. The next thing for us to do is to open a new tab. So click on this box. Click on this plus button, new tab. So now this new type is going to be something like uh, we're going to get started with another website. They call it search for app, then ads, then txt. Something like this. App, ads, txt. Search for that. It will bring you to this page. You can see here is what to call the app or txt. So this site, this website here is the one you can use for Unity Ads. You can also use it for start startup ads. You can also use it for uh, Google AdMob and you can also use it for Facebook Audience Network. This one is very, very fast. It will not stress you like Blogspot. So let's click on this. And now we'll get started with creating accounts. Now I will just scroll down. Once you come to the page, is your Apple Text. This one, no need for hosting. They host it for you automatically. No need for no need of development required. They will not charge you any amount and they will show that your Apple Text is available at all time. So you don't have to uh, suffer yourself or stress yourself like Blogspot. So the next thing for us to do is to get started with the name. The reason why I've not used this site before is that um, I normally think that, okay, this, this is third party stuff. So that's why I normally use Blogspot. But in as much as this is concerned, Unity has also support Blogspot, uh, Apple.txt, and crawling again. So we need to use this one. So I'll get started. If you want to reach that, you need to give it a new name. For example, I can say my, I can just say my name is what, Harun Quotes, something like this. Mm? And I'll give them a, a, an email address for them to, for them to verify me. So make sure your, your email address is on your phone now or your system. So valid email address, which requires inbox verification. So I'll click on this. I'll give them this email address. You can see. So I'll now set up a password now. I need to pause the video now. So here is the password I input. I'll still input the same password here to confirm. So the next thing for me to do is to click on I have accepted the terms and condition. You can read through it. So click on this and then click on register now. So now, guys, I'm getting registered on this platform and it's for free. So you can verify your stuff immediately. Now they have sent me an email. Uh, ver verify your email address. You can see an email was sent to Tekalifa, TechB071. I'm still waiting for the email to come up to my phone. So let's just give it some seconds. And if you did not receive your email, you can click on, after some time, you can click on, didn't receive an email. You can see, you can click on this for you to, for them to resend. I've received it. I'll just scroll down now on the side. You can see, up at the C email address to my Tekalifa, you know, um, TechB's email. And more so, if you did not find the email, email, you can go to your spam folders and your spam folders on, uh, on email and click on that. So here is it. Please click on the button below to verify. So click on this button to verify. If you have issue with the button, you can click on the link below to verify. You can see. So if your own button is not okay, you can click on the link. So I'll click on verify email address. So now finally, I'm on the verification process to set up my app.txt now for, for Unity Ads. So what's going to happen now is that you need to fill in your market URL. Hmm? Enter the URL of one of your apps in Google Play Store, Marketplace, or Apple Store. Go to Play Store or Apple Store and get my, one of my app URLs. So just go to Play Store if you have an app before. If you don't have an app, you need to get an app on Play Store first. 
so um we're having issue with this unity ad stuff so i need to like fix this issue immediately so once i come to my app page on google play store the next thing for me to do is click is to click on the three dot at the top go to your go to any of the platform google play store apple store click on the three dot at the top and i'll click on share you can see so let's click on share now and the next thing for me to do is to copy you can see this copy button here copy the url of the of the of the of the app let's copy it it's copied so i need to get back to my apple.exe page so here is it i'll paste in one of the url of my app from play store apple store i'll paste it so here's the url i'll paste it so click on next if you click on next they'll generate an apple.exe for us so let's click on next and it will take us to the next page so it's loading and this apple.exe is your unique is your unique id card on all this a monetization platform so you can see here is it so you can paste in your blogger your ad mob app the text you can paste in your style io app the text you can also paste in your unity ads app the text so we need to use this one now let's go to unity ads let's go to the one the site you know we already get started before got started here so we need to go back to our chrome browser and click on this box to to like go back minimize to unity ads page so here's my unity ads page i'll click on the menu you can see currently on this page i'll click on the menu here i'm using the mobile view so follow the video i'll click on the menu i'll go to monetization click on monetization once you click on monetization it will bring you to another page so that is the page where you can get access to your app.txt monetization so it's loading and now click on setup down here you can see setup so click on setup once you click on setup you can scroll down so here is organization settings click on organization settings so it will bring you to the page of organization settings so the next thing for you to do is to scroll down just scroll down so here's what we call the app.txt you can see the app.txt for unity ad so click on the copy button here to copy and find so we are good to go let's just get back to our email verification page you can see this page let's go back to that page let's paste in the app.txt for unity ads down here paste it and we're good to go so click on next right so let's click on next so the next thing for us to do is what publish your app.txt file declare this url as your publisher url in place store listing so please if you have an app monetize with unity ads and you want to uh, verify your part of the you need to what, get this URL now. So click on copy. Mm? I'll copy it now. So I'll click on copy button and copy it. So my part of the URL is here is copied. You can see it's copied. So now, finally, the next thing for me to do is to go back to my unit. I'll click on finish. So just click on finish. I can you can add you know like other part of text like Facebook or this network and the likes. So now the next thing for me to do is to leave this page now. I'll get back to add more um unity ads once again. I'll go to unity ads and you know if you scroll up, there's something called uh, app.txt url mm? so scroll up scroll up scroll up you see something called developer website and eh? this is the page i'm talking about developer website so click on this mark this pen icon click on the pen icon and change this developer website to your app.txt website so the app.txt website we copied before from that site paste it here you can see this is what we got our app.txt we copied from the app.txt page paste it in this developer website section never forget so click on save so here's our developer website and you can see it's indexed and is is marked and verified by uh, unity ads so if you scroll down you can see that what your upper text is verified and it's up to date your action no action is required again so here is the upper text url so the next thing for us to do guys we have already give them the url here so this is the url we use for our play store so the next thing for us to do now is to go to our to where our apps are published so my apps are published on play console if your own is published on on any of the app stores like amazon like uh on app on ios store just log in to your own play console account so i'll say i'll just go to my console now and i'll log in right so let me log in and then i'll go to my apps and i'll change i will add a website to them um here is one of the app i have on play store and let's say if i if i want to set up my app.txt for this app now for me to make sure my app.txt is linked to this app on play store i'll just click on the app and i'll click on the three lines at the top and from there i'll just scroll down let's scroll down let's scroll down to set up so you can see click on setup and click on store settings so go to store settings we need to what paste in the uh app text in the website section let's scroll down you can see so this is the website that is currently on the app so you go to your website section on store settings paste in the what the app text so here's my app text make sure your one app text is what that app text from that website you can see i've, I've pasted it here is it so I, I can just save it up now so here is the app text link I copied from the site so this one should be a unique id i mean this one is for is for all your apps if it's on apple store on play store everywhere in as much as your app is monetized with uh, unity ads hmm? you need to use this as your app website at all time whenever you want to publish any game that is monetized with your unity ads id please make sure to use this app.txt link this one is your own is unique is once in a lifetime you don't have to do it again just in as much as you can do it you can do the you can still follow the same process to add your 
AdMob app.txt, your startup IO app.txt, your Unity ads app.txt, right? You can still do this for AdMob. You can add them under the same URL. You understand? You can add, add them under the same URL just like the way I did from the beginning. You know, if you go to that page where we added some of the code to Unity ads, you can see add AdMob codes, like giving it one line spacing. So once you do that, save it up and they'll still give you the same code. So this is the code now and it contains our app.txt. Just paste it in the website section here and click on save. So guys, once you saved up and our app is approved, whenever you want to publish an app, make sure to give them your site URL, your app URL. And your app URL should be your app.txt, the one we got, the link we copied, right? So make sure to be using this at all time. It will help you get your app.txt verified. Just like this, if you paste in the link, it will show something like this. And it will automatically get them verified. It will get your app.txt verified on Google AdMob without any issue. And it will get it verified on Unity Ads without any issue. So in as much as you have this, make sure to use it for all your monetization platform. I'll just save, the, I will save it under my note. I'll go to my note and I'll save my app.txt url so that whenever i want to publish my app which contain unity ads uh monetization i can just use the i can use this link you can also follow this same tutorial hmm? follow it follow it follow it up copy your app.txt for unity for uh, google admob and add it to the so to this site as well you can continue with it or if you are using unity ads alone you can use this one as well so these are you can set up and verify your app.txt for unity ads and i bet you it has been verified if you really enjoyed the video click on the like button subscribe and stay tuned for more some videos i'm harun Sanji from harun coach signing out